Welcome back to Mod Sauce. All right. This is, I think, probably going to be something of a shorter video because I've got a lot of real world things going on. But I did have to do something here because I figured out something cool. As you may recall, I have asked on occasion how one goes about speeding up thermal expansion machines because they've got that upgrade slot and so on and you wonder what you do with it. Well, I finally did some looking around and I figured it out. For example, this pulverizer is now a resonant machine. I've got extra augmentations, three additional augmentations down here and it is now running so fast that it's faster than the redstone furnace below it. So I'm going to break that furnace and we're going to upgrade this furnace because it works the same way with the furnace as it does with the redstone uh, with the pulverizer and so on basically you take the basic furnace and you pop it in here with this with an electron gear and four invar ingots and you bring that out and you get a hardened redstone furnace now the hardened furnace we pop this down here has a higher power capacity and it will run a lot faster. Of course, it's going to suck down a lot more power doing it, but the presumption is if you're able to make the materials, the electric gear and the invar ingots and whatnot, then you probably can provide enough power to let run this at full bore. All right, let me go ahead and pick this up. And we'll upgrade it to the next level. And this one will take the hardened machine with some hardened glass and signalum gears, which, uh, if I look at that, that's signalum ingots around iron. And that is, you get this signalum blend powder, and you make that with three copper, a silver pulverized, and a bucket of destabilized redstone. So take all of that, pop this in here, redstone furnace reinforced. So we'll go ahead and throw that down. It now has a much greater power capacity and will operate even faster. And so on. And again, I would say that if you can make the signalum gears, you probably don't have a problem coming up with enough power to run this thing at full bore. And then we go to the last step here for resonant. You need the enderium gear and that, enderium ingots, and to get those you have an enderium blend in an induction smelter with pyrothium dust. The enderium blend, tin and pulverized shiny metal with a bucket of resonant ender. And that gets you the redstone furnace resonant. And this thing its power capacity is still higher. It'll hold 60,000 RF in its internal buffer, and it's a lot faster. So let's pop this down here. Well, we've got this pulverizer. It's actually jammed up. The stuff is coming. It's backed up. There's so much stuff waiting to be processed. So let's just pop that down there. Input from the top, output to the back where the input bus is, and as furnaces go, that thing's running pretty cool. But wait a minute, we don't have any upgrades in it yet. Yeah, the augments. Now, with the uh, making one of these into resonance, you have to go through each of the intermediate steps to get there. You have to make it into the hardened, and then you have to take the hardened and make it into the reinforced, and then the reinforced gets made into the uh, resonant. Similarly, you have these augments. This one here is the secondary reception coil, and this one gives you 2x speed, uses three times the energy. It does reduce the chance of a secondary product by 5%. Requires a hardened machine. So, pop that in here. Next upgrade is the overclocked modular gearbox. 4 times speed, uses 8 times the energy, 
and cuts the secondary material chance by 15%. And you have to use a reinforced machine to, do, to use this one. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And over here is the space-time flux unifier. I'm surprised they didn't just call it a flux capacitor. This is the highest tier speed upgrade. 8x the speed, 20, 20 times the energy and reduces the secondary chance by 30%. And you have to use a resident machine to use this one, so we'll grab that. Let's go over here to this furnace, and we'll see how fast it's going now. Let's pop this first augment in, and it's speeding up pretty good right there. Let's put our second one in, and we're really cooking now. And now, let's put this last upgrade in, and... Uh, it's been a while since I've seen a furnace cook stuff that fast. Probably the old induction furnace from industrial craft, I think, could go like that, but nothing else. So that's not bad. Now, in order to make this workable, let me get around here where I can see it. I did go so far as to, okay, the import bus, the export bus feeding into the pulverizer, I have a acceleration card to uh, speed that up. And I have another acceleration card in the input bus, the import bus, so that stuff can be pulled out fast enough. And see, there's nothing backing up here, and the pulverizer is now able to run at full speed because it also has these three upgrades. You have to have all the upgrades. You can't just make the top tier when put it in. You have to have the first two first. But it works. It's great. Yes, it's expensive, and yes, it's kind of crafting intensive, but a little bit of creative work with the AE auto crafting system will take care of that for you. Not a problem. You'd then be able to request resonant machines and have the AE system go through all the steps to make it. And uh, it's, yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's crafting intensive and so on. But honestly, once you've got a row of these things put together, it's well worth it. Processing stuff really fast. Okay, a touch on another thing uh, real quickly before I end this, and I am going to have to end it soon, is uh, I've got silk touch in my quarry, which means I'm coming up with a lot of ores that need to be silk touched, not the iron, I don't know what that's in there for. Anyway, so I've got this little do-jobber here. This thing is a Breaker Plus and a Placer Plus. They're both from the Quarry Plus mod. And this placer will place a block. The breaker will break, break it. Right here, between the two of them like this, this is a cobblestone structure pipe from Buildcraft. And I've got an iron and gate. The top part of it is set to, if there are items in inventory, put out a redstone signal. And here, if the redstone signal is off, put out a redstone signal. And that way it's dealing with both of these machines, which, by the way, don't require power. Now here, on the ME export bus that feeds the placer, I've put two capacity cards, which make it possible to put up to nine different items. It gives you nine slots of items to feed it. And I've put in two acceleration cards, which make it really fast. And underneath this chest, there is an import bus with uh, a couple of acceleration cards in it so that it can pull stuff out of the chest fast enough to prevent anything from backlogging. And so, as you can see, the last thing I put in here was lapis, and it cranked it out really fast. Okay, next thing I'm going to add is the certus quartz. Got a whole bunch of certus quartz, so let's pop this in here. And is that sweet or what? It is fortuning because these things got uh, Fortune 3 on them thanks to this little thing over here, the advanced enchantment table, which is really nice. And it's just breaking stuff as fast as it can. And I, let's see, over here I had a monitor. When I started, there was about 60 Certus Quartz 
showing on that thing and look at it go now this is really great okay that's really unfortunately about all the time I've got for all I've got the time for right now at the moment but I figured it'd be kind of useful especially this thing about speeding up the uh, thermal expansion machines because that's been a big bugaboo of mine uh, for quite a while of not being able to accelerate them now I can accelerate them now that I've finally figured out how I honestly don't know how long it's been a thing for those augmentations but I'm very very glad they're there okay in the meantime that's unfortunately all I've got time for today uh, later on today there will be another episode of my World of Warcraft series and tonight I am planning to be working on Hermitcraft Vanilla and uh, coming up with something new or, or additional there so we'll be working on that as always if you like the video please take one second and hit the thumbs up button it really helps a lot very very helpful it gets you know a little bit more exposure and so on and uh, so on and so forth also on the upcoming hermitcraft episode we will be introducing a or do a, there will be a shout out for another patreon another patron and there's only one patreon there's another patron so we'll be de taking care of that and there will be another induction inductee into uh, one of those halls that I showed last time. All right. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.